Before I start this video, I am want to apologize, guys, about that video about, Ron, about this movie got a low percent Ron Tomatoes. Honestly, I deleted that video. Honestly, I just deleted it because I just took it too seriously. I'm very sorry I took it seriously of that Ron Tomatoes videos. Now, now, for now on, for any film I want to see go a low percent, I will no longer make those type of videos. But I will show you the Ron Tomatoes scores. Some of my reviews or rants are saying I agree with them or I disagree with them, all that stuff. So no, I'm not complaining about Rotten Tomatoes anymore. I still despise Rotten Tomatoes. I still hate with the hate them with a the burning passion. They can be dick sometimes. It's just I want to tell you something. I still I'm not gonna sh to be be angry at Rotten Tomatoes anymore. I will show you my live streams and talk about it and all that stuff. Enough of that. Let's get to what the actual with you. Hey guys, it's Lambrock Strike once again. And I just got back from seeing this movie about, let's see, a few hours ago, actually. I saw this movie at 11.30 a.m. in 3D for this movie. I saw it in IMAX 3D. So, I'm going to review on Dark Phoenix, or X-Men Dark Phoenix, and that stuff. So, the plot is, well, this plot was kind of complicated. This is basically a Jean Grey story here. This is the origin story of Jean Grey and she controls her powers and stuff and basically she did something really terrible. She killed one of the member cat one of the one of the member characters of the X-Men character. She killed one character in the film. And basically it's just I think it's about Jean Grey turning evil and that stuff and that's how I can describe the plot because this this plot is kind of, this is the most confusing plot I've ever seen. For an X-Men film. This is the most confusing story since Pokemon Movie 3, the, the Mystery of Unknown and stuff. So that's how I can describe the plot. It's kind of complicated. It's very it's a very complicated plot and all that stuff. So anyway guys, I didn't do a reaction trailers, didn't reaction to any of the trailers this movie. I thought the teaser and the trailers this movie were very underwhelming. Seriously. The trailers for this movie are very underwhelming. I was I was kind of excited because I'm a huge fan of X-Men. I love the first movie. I love the second one. I hated Last Stand. I hate Orgis Wolverine with a burning passion. I thought Orgis Wolverine is still the worst X-Men movie I've ever seen in my life. I liked Wolverine. I love X-Men David Chapas. I real I I enjoy I love X-Men First Class. I X-Men Apocalypse is underrated. I do enjoy, um, I do, uh, I did like X-Men Apocalypse. I love Logan. As for this one, it's gonna shock you guys. I can't like this movie. That's right, I can't like this movie. I actually like this movie. It's not great. It was good. I actually liked it, it was good. It's not as good as Logan. Definitely not as good as Logan. And I know Jeremy John surprisingly hate this movie. He called this movie dog shit. And I heard from Harry Thomas, he said this is an underrated masterpiece. I can't wait to see his thoughts on this movie. I get also really I was I still yet to hear, hear Inside Fans 2001's opinion on this movie. Maybe he could like this movie. M maybe. I, I need to I still need to hear his thoughts. But either way, I thought this movie was pretty good. The story is a bit complicated. But you don't get the hang of it. You'll get the hang of the story. I'm a huge fan of X-Men. And this is the third X-Men movie I've saw in cinemas. First being David Duplass in Apocalypse and now this. Characters are great. Nightcrawler is, is great. Cyclops is great. Jean Grey is a badass. Magneto is great. Um, all the characters are, 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 are great. And let's get into the positive and now get to the negatives without giving away spoilers. The, the, the um, positive of this movie is Jean Grey. She is the most interesting character of the entire movie, of this movie. She's the most interesting character of this movie. I really like Jean Grey in this movie. Describe her in this movie. She is the Scarlet Witch of the X-Men movies. I think I can describe her. She is the Scarlet Witch of the X-Men movies. Basically, her controlling thing, it's kind of like Scarlet Witch in Avengers Age of Ultron. That's how I can describe her. It's pretty much Scarlet Witch from Avengers Age of Ultron I can describe her. So, what else do I want to say? And the special effects are pretty good. I do like the special effects and the acting was good as well. And Quicksurfer 
was great in that film. And Charles Xavier was great as well. And so, yeah, those are the positives. Now, I only have one issue. Is, of course, the climax. The climax and the end of this movie, honestly, without giving any spoilers, it is a rip-off. The ending and the climax, well, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but the ending, the way they end this movie, it is, the ending is a rip-off to Avengers Endgame. No joke. The last shot of this movie, the ending is a rip-off to Avengers Endgame. I'm not going to tell you. I said it. It's just me. The ending kind of copy Avengers Endgame. It sounded like the director went to the early screen, went to the, went, got invited to an early screen for Avengers Endgame and he, and he watched the, the ending and he wrote his own version for his ending for this movie. It's just kind of this movie, kind of just the ending, kind of copy Avengers Endgame. Well, I won't say much of the ending. That's how I can describe it. I would not give away spoilers for this movie. And sadly, this movie's not doing well at the box office. All right, that's my only negative of this movie, and the final shot's pretty cool, and Magneto is a great character. Once again, Magneto was great in this film. I do like Magneto. If someone's thinking this is the worst X-Men movie I read the reviews, have you seen Orders Wolverine? That is the Orders Wolverine is the worst X-Men movie I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this movie is way better than X-Men Last Stand. I would say this movie is X-Men Last Stand done right. I can describe this movie. Despite me just saying the ending was kind of copy and copy Avengers Endgame, honestly to say it's, I had a fun time seeing this movie. It's a very short movie, and despite this movie not doing as well at the box office, I think this is possibly be the final X-Men movie to be owned by 20th Century Fox, that maybe Disney will purchase X-Men and then they reboot it. Overall, I'll give this movie... I say 6 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. I can describe it. So 6 out of 10. No, normally 6 out of 10. It's not good. It's not bad. It's meh. I say it's good to say between 6 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. That's my rating. That's how I can describe it. It's way better than Orders Wolverine. It's way better than The Last Stand. And especially this movie is 1,000 times better then Aladdin 2019. So far, Aladdin 2019 is the worst movie of 2019. I've yet to watch Ugly Dolls online. So maybe Ugly Dolls can be the worst movie of this year. Who knows? So, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. It's a very enjoyable movie. Just go see this movie. Support this movie. Go see this movie, then. Go see it instead of fucking Aladdin 2019, which I despise Aladdin 2019. Yeah, go see this movie instead of Aladdin 2019. And go see Sega Pets 2 as well instead of Aladdin 2019. And before I go, if you're expecting me what previews I play when I saw this movie, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Finally, they played my most anticipated movie of 2019, Star Wars Episode 9. They finally played the trailer when I saw this movie. Man Black 2019, Joker, and um, what else they played? Oh yes, and Lion King, 2019. The previews of playing when I saw this movie are Star Wars Episode 9, Joker, Lion King, 2019, the, re the Lion King remake, and Man in Black, 2019. Those are the previews that I played when I saw this movie. Good film, I enjoyed it. Go see it. Support this movie then itself, Aladdin 2019. If you're wondering, what's my next movie I'm gonna see? My next movie I'm gonna see is Toy Story 4. July, I'm seeing Spider-Man Far From Home, maybe Lion King 2019, depends on the reviews. October, I'm seeing Terminator, Dark Fate, and Joker. November, I'm seeing Frozen 2. And December, the final, the last film we'll see in 2019 is Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. That will be the final film I'm going to see in 2019 and the final film I'm going to see in the 20, 20, 20, 20, the 2010 decade because the 2020 decade is coming to a close. That's my review on X-Men Dark Phoenix. I'm seeing Toy Story 4 in the next few weeks. So I hope it's a great film. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.